We have just witnessed daylight robbery, people. Daylight robbery in the Champions League. I'm sorry. Take your Spurs hat off. Take your rival hat off. Whoever you support, Arsenal have just been robbed. Honestly, that is embarrassing refereeing. Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 2, Real Madrid 3, Manchester City 3. We're going to cover absolutely everything. Go down, drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll start with the Arsenal game. What a game of football, by the way. Counter-attacking, hits the post, penalties, VAR. But we're going to start at the very end of the game. Thomas Partey plays the ball through to Bukayo Saka. He takes it round Manuel Neuer and is completely taken out. Now, I don't care what, who you play for, what level you watch football at, who you support, who is your team, that has to be a penalty. But before that, Davis is on a yellow card, takes out Gabriel Jesus. That's a foul on its own as well. Probably should have been sent off, but the referee that game at the death has just bottled that refereeing decision. And in my opinion, Arsenal have just been robbed off of a penalty at the death. And we know how good Bukayo Saka has been in the Premier League and in the Champions League from the penalty spot. And in my opinion, looking at this from a neutral fan, they've been robbed. They have just been robbed. Probably would have scored that penalty. They take a 3-2 uh, lead at the Alliance Arena next week. I honestly am flabbergasted that is not a penalty. We'll start with the game in general. Arsenal started really, really well. Bakayo Saka opens up his body. Lovely left foot uh, finesse round the, um, the Bayern Munich defenders past Neuer in the back of the net. But then after that, Bayern Munich tactically were set up perfectly for the counter-attack. Leroy Sane and Serge Gnabry in the first half were causing all sorts of problems. Leroy Sane, for me, was Bayern Munich's best attacker. I thought Lerma and Goretzka were very, very good. And they were just counter-attacking perfectly. The weight of pass to Leroy Sane for the first goal into Goretzka and Goretzka's pass into Serge Gnabry is nothing but pure, pure quality. Genuinely, absolutely insane. Then when you look at Bayern Munich after that, they grew into the game. And that man, no one else is going to score at the Emirates. Harry Kane, Leroy Sane tears through Arsenal's defence, which is very strange because Arsenal defensively have been so solid all season. But tonight, you know, there was gaps at the back. Bayern Munich exploited their counter-attack and were tactically brilliant for majority of the game. Harry Kane steps up, one of the best penalties you are ever going to see, and calmly puts it past David Raya. It was kind of, he was taking the mick, to be honest. It was that good of a penalty. At half time, you know, Arsenal are 2 1 down at Hope. When we talk about big games, when we talk about big game players, Leandro Trossard is a fantastic big game player. And there was a lot of pressure at half time. You could see the fans were getting, you know, getting onto the players' backs a little bit. Declan Rice is trying to calm them down. It's all about the grit and determination. It's all about the mentality from Arsenal. You know, they scraped past Porto in the in the previous round on penalties. This this time you're going up against a European heavyweight. It's half time. You go out. Arsenal started really, really well. They were knocking on the door. I was baffled at Thomas Tuchel's substitutions to take off Nabry and Sane. Kingsley Coman did do well. He did it the post later on in the game. But Leandro Trossard, what a finish that is, by the way. What a finish that is to make it 2-2. Arsenal back in the game, knocking on the door. And the last 60 seconds of that match was absolute chaos. And like I said, Arsenal, daylight robbery. Daylight robbery. I'm sorry. The referee there is just literally like... I, I don't know what is going through his head. Saka is taken out. Clear, it's clear as day, man. Like, I'm not annoyed because I'm an Arsenal fan. I just want to see fair refereeing. I want to see two big teams going head to head. I don't want to, I don't want the talking point the day afterwards to be all about the refereeing decisions. I want to see two teams battle fairly 
for the biggest prize there is. But the referee is just completely conned Arsenal. And that should have been a penalty. And like I said, if Arsenal take a 3-2 lead to the Allianz Arena, we know how strong their defence is. They'll, they'll, they'll just sit back and say, look, come on to Arsenal. We'll use Saka and Martinelli to, to counter-attack, similar to the way Bayern Munich did tonight. And that game ended 2-2. The other game tonight, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Real Madrid free, Manchester City free. And when you talk about Champions League drama, when you talk about Champions League goals and goals of the highest quality, Vardial, Bernardo Silva, Foden, Rodrigo and Valverde all scoring quality goals. Manchester City go one nil up, very, very early goal. Bernardo Silva catches Lunin off his line. You know, and kind of, it's kind of like a whip pass into the back of the net. And Manchester City go 1 0 up. And I thought this game would be very tight. You know, we've seen the drama in the recent years Rodrigo getting two late goals at the end. Last year, Manchester City battering Real Madrid. We've seen some classics from these two. You know, the biggest game in the Champions League for me, the, the current holders against the record holders, the Galacticos against, you know, Manchester City. The players on show tonight, Foden. Bellingham, no De Bruyne, he was left on the bench, but just pure class. Real Madrid, though, have got this knack of, like, they never know when they're beaten. And Ruben Diaz, uh, so he went down as a known goal, probably probably shouldn't have really. Um, ball gets deflected off Diaz from a Camavinga strike. It was on target, but I get it why it goes down as an own goal. And then Rodrigo, you know, completely tears through Manchester City's defence, makes it 2-1. And Real Madrid take a 2-1 lead into halftime. But we all know how elite Manchester City's mindset is, the mentality. We know how strong they really are. And it goes into halftime, 2-1. They come out. And Phil Foden, by the way, when you talk about generational talents, when I hear Phil Foden's only good because of that Man City team, no De Bruyne tonight, the goal was, was is, is simply... Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous from Phil Foden. Bangs it with power, top left, makes it 2-2. And then Vardy Al, five minutes later, a player that's got a lot of stick from rival fans tonight, scores his first City goal. And what a goal that is as well. It's it's pure quality tonight from, from the Manchester City Real Madrid game. Absolute quality. And, you know, you save the best for last. Federico Valverde, I mean, this goal, Real Madrid knocking on the door, ball goes over the top of the box and he spanks it on the volley, bottom right corner. When you talk about big game players, Valverde is one of them. I remember when Madrid won the Champions League a few years ago, Valverde with the assist into Vinny Jr. I thought Vinny Jr. tonight, you know, was a little bit quiet. They kind of played him as a number nine. I'd rather see Rodrigo up there for me. But what a game of football in both in both games. Real Madrid, Man City, that, that, that's as even as you can get. You know, similar amount of shots, similar amount of shots on target. Obviously, Man City always dominate the possession. I do think when it goes back to uh, the Etihad, Man City will do Real Madrid. But when you talk about the other game, Arsenal buying, that's going to be so, so, so close. If Arsenal defensively are as strong as they've been in the Premier League, I do think they will come out on top. You can't write by enough, though, the European heritage that they've got. But the, the advert for the Champions League tonight, four of the best teams in Europe going head-to-head, -head, quality goals everywhere. But the headlines all over the papers tomorrow is going to be Arsenal robbed. And look, I'm happy Harry Kane scored, but you can't do someone like that. That's absolutely... It's, it's, it's insane. It's insanity. You know, they've, they've been robbed, Arsenal. But the Madrid City game was just as good, probably if, if not better. You know, end-to-end -end stuff. The superstars on show, Bellingham, Vinny, Rodrigo, Foden, Haaland. Both games had absolutely everything. And it sets it up for a mouth-watering tie next Wednesday. Both games at 8 o'clock at the Etihad and at... Um, the Allianz Arena. Both teams are playing this weekend. Manchester City have got Luton. Three o'clock Saturday. Arsenal have got the extra day to recover. They've got a tough game though. Aston Villa, 4.30 on Sunday. But I had to say it right now. I think the, the Arsenal came good goal all the way to extra time and potentially penalties. But I do think over 
the next game at the Etihad, I do think Manchester City will show enough quality. Potentially keep, uh, would have kept Kevin De Bruyne safe for that. And Manchester City have got the luxury now of playing Luton at the weekend. So they, they'll be able to make three or four changes in that game. Arsenal have got a tough game. I don't think they'll make many changes against Aston Villa at the weekend. But what fantastic football on display tonight. Let me know your thoughts down below if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. I am...